In today's video, I'm going to show you five questions that you need to ask yourself if you plan to stand out on social media. Capture your audience attention by asking the right questions. Coming up on Frame 316 Media. Anyone involved in any online business is in a constant pursuit to stand out on social media. But given the amount of content being created on the internet nowadays and the strategies involved in crafting this content, what worked for your brand before may not necessarily bring the same magic this time. Social media is already way beyond just posting random content. The posts need to be constantly improved on and customized for specific audience personas and designed in formats fit for consumer needs. Having the best writer on your team is not enough. With the fast-changing format of content being consumed online, creating standout content is not limited to social media posts anymore. But how do you create standout content? So what sort of questions do you need to ask yourself and your team so that the journey from idea to content is centered on the value that your customer can get? First, what does your audience want? Most brands start on the wrong foot, creating content that they want, not what their audience wants. And this is basically going against the tenets of effective social media strategy. You know, it is not just content creation. It is the creation of content for a specific audience. Ask yourself and your team, what does your audience want? Do they want insights? Do they want information? Do they want to learn? Do they want to try your product? And once you determine the answer to this question, you are in for a ride. The next content you will be creating may well be a standout content in your space. Next question, when do they want it? So aside from knowing what your audience wants, um, timing is of extreme relevance. You know, the last thing that you would want to do is to force your content to your audience while they are busy not caring about your brand. Now plot your customer journey. Make sure you have content pillars for each stage of the journey and make sure that you are delivering it right where it matters most and when it matters most for them. Next, who is providing the answers to your audience and who is not providing them? It is also a wise move to find out, to listen, to research. Who among your competitors are providing the answers to your audience and who is ignoring them? Then you can start owning that space that nobody is looking at. And once you own this space, you have uh, every opportunity to dominate that space. You know, start creating value-centric content that is unique to your brand and that you know, it resonates well with the audience that are consuming your content. The next question is how much the... the, um, the the next question is how much does your audience is willing to pay for your content? Another question that most social media managers forget to ask themselves is this. Um, how much does my audience is willing to uh, pay for my content? At the end of the day, you still need to pay the bills. You know, If revenue generating is not on your radar, you might just well keep on writing content. And if it transforms the world we live in, you know, let's just pray that the world will remember you for doing good. But seriously, part of your strategy should involve making money somehow, you know. And part of creating standout content is the goal to have your audience pay for your content. Plot your efforts against the results and make sure you get to sleep peacefully at night knowing that your bank account won't break, you know, even if you are the greatest content creator on the planet. Then, do you have to be original? This is a very intriguing question and there's a lot of debate going on in this type of question. So, yes and no. Yes, because you're aiming for influence and authority. If you lack a sense of originality in your content, then prepare for the wrath of the internet to fall upon your hapless soul. You know, On the other side, it's tough to be original knowing that in the existence of human knowledge, probably uh, when you think of it, everything has been said and done. So how do you navigate around this dilemma? The secret to standout content is in the authenticity of your brand message. Some brands may have already written about the best practices in lead generation. 
but you can still be original by adding in your own flavor, your own taste, you know, by etching your brand message all over your lead generation strategy. That is how you become original. There's still just way too much content out there, but this should not discourage you from creating standout content. The level of trust that you can build in your space will dictate the level of authority that you earn as an expert. Focus on getting your content in front of your audience and make it a business to measure and improve your strategy. Do not settle for a repeat performance. Create fresh and relevant content and be consistent. That is how you win the social media marketing wars. That is how you stand out in a room full of loud content creators on social media. So if you're getting any value out of this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you wouldn't miss out on videos like this in the future. So it's time to go to work. It's your time to grow. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.